channel it's me Brittany bear makeup here for those of you guys who are new then welcome so today's video is my most requested video of all time this is a full look using only drugstore products you guys are gonna be shook with some of the products that I use today and how affordable they are so if you guys want to learn how I got this beautiful soft glam then turn on your post notifications so you guys can be a part of my bear family don't forget to like share comment and as always guys hit that subscribe button and keep on watching as I show you guys how to get this beautiful look balling on a budget <laughs> Now, now, rockin' with Britney, bitch. So you guys already know I love to start with my eyes, and for today I picked up one of the most whew, pop in products I have found from the drugstore, and it is the new Elf camouflage concealers. These concealers are insanely pigmented and super creamy. So for today, I'm gonna use the color light beige and I'm gonna apply a little bit on my eyes and this is gonna act as a base for me. So this is already cutting down the cost. You're using concealer for your eyes and also under your eyes. We are balling on a budget today. So taking my beauty blender, and typically I use a $20, a $20 beauty blender from Sephora. This is the Real Techniques little sponges. They work amazing and they they do such a great job blending out products. So I'm gonna blend this in. Bam, ready to go. So the next step is gonna be eyeshadow. And for today, I wanted to use this eyeshadow palette. I had gotten it a while back ago. This is the Milani Pure Passion Eyeshadow Palette. Inside of it has really beautiful, rich, warm colors, which I think can pertain to any time of the year. For today's eyeshadow brush, I'm going with an e.l.f. brush, and this is their crease brush. And I'm thinking that I am gonna go into this really pretty shade right here, right in the center. And then I'm gonna go into my crease, I love it, I love it. I remember back in the day when all I had in my makeup kit was drugstore products and I love them. I always made them work. I actually used to do a lot of my clients with drugstore products. For 90% of when I freelance, I didn't have the money to go to Sephora and buy such expensive makeup. So I made it work. And I feel like a lot of times we think that just because they're drugstore, they're not gonna give us the same results, but that's not true. I feel like 90% of it is your technique and the 10% is just making products that work well well, work extremely well by you just using that technique. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in. All right guys, so once I've gone ahead and I blended it out and I really like how it looks, I feel like it just added a little bit of dimension into my crease. I'm gonna go into this really rich, almost burgundy chocolate shade right here and kind of work this into the corner of my eye. I love this brush so much because it allows me to really just place the color exactly where I want it to go and that's what makes these little elf brushes so incredible and it just does such a great job. So I'm packing it in the corner and I'm just kind of trying to give it a little bit more dimension in that corner. So for the eye, I'm just going to kind of enhance it a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this e.l.f. brush once again. This is a concealer brush. And I'm going to go back into that e.l.f. concealer. And I'm going to apply this and kind of cut my crease. Not kind of cut my crease. I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm going to pull back on my eye a little bit. And I'm going to go in and just begin giving it a little bit more shape to clean up that eyeshadow look and give it more definition and have it look a little bit more presentable. So I'm just carving it out with gentle strokes. And this is such a good brush to do that. So if you guys are looking looking for a great brush that's extremely affordable once again. This one I believe cost me a dollar, then definitely check this bad boy out. All right, so I went ahead and I cut the crease and typically I would put a shimmer on top to kind of spice up the look, but I'm kind of feeling the whole matte finish. So I'm gonna go into this matte light bone shade, taking that same concealer brush, I'm just gonna pat this into the concealer and just set it in place. This is such a great neutrals palette, and if you guys are really looking for one that's gonna kind of work for you, I definitely would recommend to check out Milani in general. They have so many beautiful palettes to choose from. All right, Bear Bam, so this is what we're working with. Once we went ahead and finished off our eyeshadow, I'm super obsessed. I'm just gonna take a little makeup wipe and I'm gonna clean it up. Once again, drugstore, most incredible makeup wipes. If you guys are looking for something that's gonna get all the makeup off, check out Neutrogena's makeup wipe. So taking this, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up any excess shadow. 
All right, guys, so as you can see, I finished off the other eye, and I'm so impressed. We're gonna jump into my favorite part, which is obviously foundation, because this is when I start to look more alive, and I start to just feel a lot prettier. And for today, I kind of thought about all the foundations that I've used, and there were a couple that I had in mind. It was either L'Oreal True Match, or I wanted to really show you the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Longwear Foundation. Now, the color that I went ahead and chose was Sandy Beige, which I feel like is gonna be my best bet. As you guys can see, this is a really full coverage foundation. So if you guys are in the market for something like that, this is a great foundation to try out. This isn't my most perfect match, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it work for today because I want to look a little bit more tan. So I'm gonna apply this onto my ears and all over my face. One thing I've really noticed about drugstore products is that I feel like they have all stepped up their game so much. They're coming out with extremely incredible shade ranges. When I first started makeup, they were just kind of getting into the market. It wasn't as big, but over the past couple years, I feel like everything has really evolved and I just love the way that this whole market is going for drugstore items. So the next thing we're gonna go into is concealer. Now I already gave you guys a sneak peek at what concealer I'm using today, which is the e.l.f., but I'm gonna go ahead and continue to use this for my under eye highlight as well as the rest of my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my mirror because I'm blind. Gotta drink my carrot juice for my eyesight, you know, no big deal. Just trying to get that 2020 again. Mm. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin by applying this concealer under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, slim it out a little bit. The bottom of my forehead, I just like to apply a little bit of this color and then on the other side as well. On the chin and then the corners of my mouth. When I tried this concealer out, I was expecting it to be very watery and to not really last on the skin. But ever since I got it in a PR package, I have been wearing this concealer so much because it just goes on so pretty and it gives you such high-end results. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out using my Real Technique sponge. Do we see how beautiful it blends out too? So I'm just patting this lightly under my eyes and making sure that I get a nice blend on everything. All right guys, so the next step is gonna be a translucent powder. Now, normally I go for a Huda Beauty translucent powder, and you guys already know that is like my number one high-end translucent powder. But I'm gonna show you guys my number one drugstore powder. This is my CoverGirl Clean Professional. I've used this for so many years. I'm telling you guys, back in the day when I was a broke baby girl, this was my go-to translucent powder. And it worked for so many years on so many different clients, so many different faces, including myself. So I'm gonna take it onto my blender, and I'm gonna go ahead and pack this under my eyes. So I'm packing like a thin layer because this concealer kind of dries down almost to a powder already. So I don't want to be overbearing with the amount of powder that I apply. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side as well. Onto the bridge of my nose, my chin, and underneath my jaw, on my forehead, all right guys, so once I've gone ahead and I've blended everything out, I have a little bit of translucent powder under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose, but we'll take care of that in a second. I'm gonna go in with a bronzer that to this day, I'm just obsessed with. I feel like this is such an incredible bronzer. It reminds me of the NARS, obviously. I'm sure you guys have heard that before. So it comes with a bronzer and a blush. You kill two birds with one stone, balling on a budget, which is incredible. So this one is the Saint Lucia. So the brush that I picked up for today is gonna be Angled Blush Brush. So I'm gonna go into this bronzer and I'm gonna go ahead and begin kind of sculpting out my cheekbones. Oh, I just love this color. It's like the drugstore Kula Benefit Bronzer. It is just so incredible and just a really pretty color to contour with. On to the other side as well. I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt out the bottom of my jaw to give it more definition. All right, and then with that same powder, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of warm up the rim of my forehead. All right, Bear Fam, so I'm gonna go off camera to do my nose contour. You already know I'm not gonna compromise on my 360 nose contouring brushes with Morphe. The only thing that can snatch my nose the way I want it to look. I'm also gonna be doing my eyebrows, and I didn't wanna bore you guys by showing you, because I have a brow tutorial showing exactly what this e.l.f. product does for my brows. So I'll go ahead and link it up here if you guys wanna check that out. I use this product and you'll see step by step. So this is the e.l.f. medium brow kind of set. 
And for the brush, I'm gonna be using this little e.l.f. brow brush. I'm gonna go ahead and use this to do my eyebrows. You're gonna see them now, and then when I come back, you're gonna see how beautiful they look with this powder. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, Bear Fam, so I am back, and as you can see, my eyebrows transformed, and so did my nose contour. I'm gonna go back into that Milani palette real quick, and I'm gonna take my e.l.f., and this is a eyeliner brush. I'm gonna dip it into that dark chocolate shade and just slightly smoke that color underneath my eye to kind of bring the whole look together. This is such a great brush to do that too because it's so precise when applying. Just like that. Bam! We are onto something popping. It's crazy because I see my makeup right now and I'm kind of like, it looks better than when I actually use really expensive products. So it really just shows that some of these products are so underrated and they get pushed aside because bigger companies are launching stuff every day and they have more of the money to come up with the packaging and that wow factor but sometimes simple things like this really do trick and just make everything look so incredible so very very impressed so i'm gonna go back into that elf palette once again this is the bronzer slash blush duo i'm gonna take the blush shade from this and the same elf angled blush brush and i'm gonna apply this blush onto the apples of my cheek what i love about this color is that it's so subtle but it just gives like a nice healthy glow to the skin so i'm kind of tapping it in i feel like it has minerals in it too so it almost adds like this highlighting effect to the skin so the next product i'm gonna use is an elf um, mascara and this one was $2 and it works really, really well. I'm gonna use this and just apply a very thin layer onto my lashes. So for lashes, I'm really excited for these because I'm gonna be using Ardell's. These ones I picked up at Target and these are so pretty. They're super wispy and gorgeous. They are the 113 Double Wispy. And I'm gonna be using my Duo Glue to apply them. I'm looking real expensive right now. And to think that this is all products that anyone can get for such an affordable price. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place it onto my lower lash line once again. Okay, Bear Fam, so the last thing is going to be my lips. Now, I always use Sweet Tea Lip Liner from Morphe, and that one is $3, so in my eyes, that's considered drugstore. But today, I just brought a random one. It's not drugstore, I know I'm kind of cheating. I'm just gonna use it to slightly outline my lips. This is actually the Gerard Cosmetics Little Lip Liner Pencil, and this one is Sugar and Spice, so I'm gonna use it to lip line my lips. Now, I'm really excited for this because this is a color that I'm really obsessed with. This is e.l.f. and it is like a night to day lipstick, which is really smart. So one side's a little bit darker and that gives you like your more nighttime type of feel. And the other side is for the day, which is a lighter nude. I'm really obsessed with this light nude. So I'm gonna apply this on my lips and they're so hydrating. They almost feel like chapsticks, which I love. All right, Bear Fam, so here is the final look. You guys, I am so so impressed with this makeup. Everything that I use today made me realize why I love drugstore products like so much. They come through every time, they look amazing, and they're so affordable. Alrighty, Bear fans, so that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment, and as always, guys, hit that subscribe button so you guys can be subscribed to my channel. I will see all of my Bear family in the next video. Bye, guys.